Shooter Happy Havoc. How quickly did you get here when you played by yourself? Since what? you know you didn't have to, I didn't have to read voice act, or I only read. set skills, or make dumb jokes. <laughs> what? what do you cool mean? and I make dumb jokes. Hey, look, you got a skill point. You equipped it. Good job. Are there more? Studies your aim a little effective during non-stop debate. Hangman's Gambit. You might as well. It's your only one. No, I have Melody's voice. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, that's uh, Sayaka's. Uh, increase damage to the opponent when the statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. What? You'll understand what all of those are. You might as well just equip them. Yep. Do you want to look at any of your evidence ahead of time? Nope. Great. <laughs> Trial. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? They'll, um, they'll be talking to themselves before during this. Okay. Of course! Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. Wow, okay. But you see, that's the sleeve I was talking about, why I thought it was him at first, but... Yeah. All right, Compass, no one's gonna do that. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? Yes. <laughs> What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Thank you. Friendship penetrates. Jeez. Just when baseball. When can he die? <laughs> okay. But sure he doesn't stick till the end? I would die if he they did. They might need a comic relief character until the end. Please no. There's comic relief and then there's whatever the hell that is. <laughs> we have we have a hero. He can be comic relief. Of us to begin with, so why are there 16 scenes? What? Why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't don't hey, shrug no at me. Reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Fun for a way back. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. Let's begin. Fate to decide who we think the killer is. Let's zoom in. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak about up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? No. Yes. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another, without pause. It is up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried with their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you have found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Nice. Use the left stick to aim, and then fire with the Y button. Dots. Okay. What? <laughs> Pay close attention to each character's statements, and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the start button during these arguments, you can review the controls. I thought truth bullets was just a weird name. No, we're actually shooting people with the truth. Hey, you shoot their statements. It's awesome. That's well, so weird. Good luck and Japan, have fun. Japan, you're so weird. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> GLHF. <laughs> <laughs> Make your argument. Alright, so we have a bullet of evidence of struggle. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. 
so it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in no. the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Oh. So all the there statements you can shoot will be highlighted. Oh, okay. Um, that one was just to tell you to shoot the yellow letters. Just a yeah, to I see. Yeah. Try to remember how my room looked. Remember. <laughs> Little coin. Remember. <laughs> have been damaged. I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise? Not with that many gashes in the room. To be fair, Chihiro never went to the crime scene. That's, yeah. <laughs> she must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> sorry. sorry. What's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. Needs to determine who, what was used to kill Sayaka. The, like the knife in her <laughs> abdomen. <laughs> Maybe it was the knife in her The stomach. weapon that's in her stomach, yes. Hey, you have a kitchen knife set, evidence. Um, later on, there'll be more, so you have to actually cycle through your evidence. So and find uh, to kill. Again, this is the tutorial. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Thank you. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. No! Could anyone do something like that? I missed? That? What? That son of he a took bitch. Took the oh. This object was thrust into Saiga's stomach. It was almost certainly the knife that disappeared from a certain location. So what was used to kill her? And then, so what you just saw there, it, it will cycle back through it. It's, it's better to just like wait and see what you really want to shoot. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so sometimes, sometimes it might make sense to be like, well, that one could work here, but there might yeah. be a statement later that's even better. Like, so when there's multiple like yellow statements, no. um, you you could like just determine which ones are like better ones. One of them, just I'm shoot the first one. Uh, just let it run um, through. If you shoot the wrong one or give it like the wrong evidence, um, you lose life points. Oh, and then if you lose okay. all your life points, you fail the, the, the trial. trial. Okay. Uh, that? Yeah. Kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> you could sort of see the weapon. You were guarding the body! <laughs> and if you look real he was close, outside the actual bathroom. He uh, was in the ass. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Right? That's right. Right? Makoto's room was right. The right. Duh. Right. Points to head. You liked him. I did. <laughs> it's one of your favorite people. I did like him. And it makes me real sad that he just goes up and kills a boy. A girl, I guess. Alibi! Statement! Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that. Thing. I don't think that's true at all. I didn't mean I'm to. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? Ha! Huh. No. She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere. Just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. He said damn. Edgy. <sighs> Uh, you want to learn more about non-stop debates? Absolutely. You can concentrate by holding down the RB button. Okay. Okay, what does that do? While though? you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone is saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge. If this gauge empties, you cannot concentrate. But the focus gauge will recover over time. So let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, GLHF, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so basically, whenever the statement pops up, you could slow down time and, like, to, aim for like, it. Like, read it and aim for it and yeah, stuff. but you only have a yeah. limited amount, so you can't just hold it for that long. 
So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Kodo must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in secret, when nobody was in the dining hall. Whoa! Hold it. Yeah. Wait, so just like this here okay, as you wait. Did. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I wanted to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying that the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hino was in the dining hall. It's funny how like a full 180 like the flash trail does with Makoto. Yeah. Like he's like useless throughout the entire time, and then on the flash trail he's driving like, force. Let's do this. Yeah. Like cracks his knuckles. Well, the like, funny thing is, one of his the skill of one of them is the common collected or whatever, which is funny considering how that's not his character at any point otherwise. So it's funny that you can use that skill. Yep, you just gotta learn it from the, uh, the, 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 the rude boy. <laughs> I don't have a better name for him, but... In other words, there's no way I Look at that face. Zooming in, like, yep. constantly. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together, and lying to protect doesn't each work. other? That literally doesn't work according to the rules. Yeah. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? The psycho would have worked with you. What if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops! Did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, well, who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone That's else dumb. prove that? That is that? such dumb logic. I can. Good. <laughs> That's right. Sakura was with me the entire That's time. That's an important fact she didn't say it the first time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's me. <laughs> right. But then the, oh. One of them <laughs> oh. Knife? Actually, no. Because um well, just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. Makoto proved that already. You're just pissed so, because you didn't get to sleep with some, you didn't get to stay with somebody else. You didn't get invited. 
No, that's more the other person didn't get invited and the, the stuttering girl gets upset that's about That's what them. I mean. That's why she's upset. Yes, that's why she's upset. She's, oh, the she's other, looking for oh, that because oh, it's literally a case okay. of, they didn't want me, fuck them. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! You said it, Taka. I'm a girl. <laughs> you are? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! But if it wasn't At least he's either apologizing. Of you, what other Definitely moral compass. Are. Oh, no, Actually, it's there is one other possibility, right, Hina? Oh yeah, that's true. One other person did come what? to the dining no hall over there. That? Wow, it's almost like that Why should have been something you led so with. Like you, yeah, <laughs> like what we're all thinking. Fiakia is like, c come on. Well, because they're not here anymore. Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Psycho? Hmm. Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Monokuma? I got it! Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Hmm. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... And the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she no. just took it for self-defense. No, she did not. <laughs> she was trying to set you up super hard. That's kind yeah. of what I... But then she called the person who she couldn't kill, so... So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Ooh, got him. I mean... What? Fair. That's, that actually is a logical that, argument. Yeah. yeah. Face on the left. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Leon's like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you possess a most terrifying talent. Being average. You possess a most terrifying talent. Being caught up in shit that like. <laughs> well, I mean, if it really was him, then he's it pulling this off real well. You say that, but at the same time, I'm like, I sit there thinking, like, if it really was him, he's not really twisting it so much. Everything he said has been completely true. Like, yeah. it's been true. Every statement has been the truth. Well, it's not really twisting yeah. anything when it's the truth. Not twisting, just but he like, he did say, it. I did not do it. And he I didn't mean, prove yeah. that he didn't do it, so. That's fair, but I mean, you're twisting the truth. No, every statement has been factually correct. <laughs> like,. Yeah. If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me. Don't they understand? I love her. If they convince me, everyone's gonna die. Convict. Hold on. It's still too glad that you have some swear over that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see. God, if you if died first, this would be the, the worst. Killer, <laughs> then they did something most bewildering. The door. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering. What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman scan that is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yep! <laughs> As things advance further into the class trial, the hangman scan bit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You'll have to dedu uh, deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Jeez, okay. Use the left stick to aim. How to hard the does that get later in. on? Oh, it gets really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. But I have focus. <laughs> like, when you don't know the answer, and you're just like, 
I'm gonna I mean, shoot random fine, letters. But, but are the letters like do they go really fast later on? Like that's my biggest issue um, is when it stops becoming a puzzle like in, intuitive thing and it's more of a shoot it. <laughs> yeah, kind of it, thing. it'll it'll get harder. Like okay, thoughts. You shoot down the wrong letters, you will suffer damage to your influence gauge. Don't stutter. This gauge reaches zero, or if you run out of time, you will fail. Well then, GLHF. Jeez. <laughs> Something that should have been at the scene, but wasn't. That must be the crucial point. If we can just figure out what that something is... Oh, yeah, okay, I know what it is. So, what should be at the scene, but wasn't? Hair. Mm. It's a four-letter word. Wow, it's almost like... It's almost like they wanted you to do it. In the right order, right? Yes. Yeah. Please. I'm gonna wait for the H to go away. Hit it again. Ah. Wait, that. But I just have to. You just have to hit them until they're gone. There you go. Okay. That I did not say that. It definitely did not say that. Now I understand. Yeah, I don't think it actually. Oh, oh, complete. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So. The culprit removed some evidence? Yes. Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? Got him. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been But her body was there. <laughs> that makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body Thank itself, you. not just her hair. Thank you. Good please. God, just... <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the Because ground? you cleaned it up. Good question, Leon. The killer got rid of it all, of course. He removed any trace that they had ever been there. See, I could have said nothing about the Leon stuff, even though you're already figuring it out, but I was just like, this makes it more fun. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I yeah, I was pretty sure I already got that. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything until you were like, ah, it's just Leon. Yeah. yeah, the glass thing that was a pretty big giveaway for it. It did take me though to look at the glass, look at the button, look at the incinerator on, and then I was like, oh, and then the white. Sli okay. <laughs> All right, got it. This is not holy totally No, it's not. Decide something so important based solely on the absence of some yep. hair? No. There are other it's not some that hair, it's the absence of evidence. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence they left behind. The, yeah, the door do you handle. remember, Makoto? The trouble getting into the bathroom. And the evidence that proves it is... An object the killer broke. Find that door handle. Yep. Or just press Y. I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. What do you There's mean? There's no lock. About it. Yeah. You still don't see? Okay, but I mean, he's yeah. trying real hard. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. I understand now the way she talks about, like, you have to deduce it yourself to be convinced. I can't just say it. I, I see how she's going about trying to do that. Actually makes more sense now. 
Can't believe said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to learn more? Yeah! From here on out, the Absolutely. number of weak spots will start going up. Okay. No matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you will also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now this is important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you'll fail. You only have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck! GG White! Bathroom door frame. What's, what's weird with that? The incident took place in Makoto's room. Sarika was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Crap. Good job. Dude, the contradiction would come from Leon. Right? Yep. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with walking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. <laughs> I don't. That is true. Facts. I feel like she doesn't need one. If anyone tries anything, she'll just murder them. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really need to break it open. Why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yup, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a such cruddy a cruddy door, door that, that saved, saved his yeah, that yep, pretty much helped him not be the killer. That's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any yeah, of literally bathrooms. just said it was locked. Because and no of one's the jumping on this. Well, no, because of the swap nameplates. Well, he, that's the logical conclusion, right? Oh, yes, but, the swap nameplates, yeah. Yeah, but... However, well, I mean, why would you break open the, the doorknob if it was open? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That. So obviously it was locked. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime is that they didn't know was. I got it. Got it. The killer must not have realized that it but was that doesn't make room. sense. Because if this, if today, right when we're doing the investigation, he straight up told Makoto, "Hey, the nameplates, the nameplates got switched." So why he would was he was confused no, no, about no, no, it? No, 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 no. We told him that the oh, nameplates were switched. Oh, I thought he switched. said that. No, I thought he's okay. See, I thought he was like, and he was like, I noticed it was weird. It took nameplate. place. Yeah. I thought he was like, took place in your room, that's weird, nameplates. Okay, never mind then. But I mean, also everyone, like, the Monokuma file says it took place in... Yeah. But, well, that's what I mean, like, why would he say the door is locked on it? <laughs> because it's dumb. <laughs> because we have to create drama for this game, okay? He's dumb. Fair. And yet, he's absolutely right. Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. 
If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. I mean, it's still pretty necessary, door. Like, you couldn't get that open Ultimately, unless you went out there. can't yep. know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. <laughs> He is entertaining and he is reasonably logical about most things he says, which is nice. Still an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's an, yep. Then Makoto couldn't have done it. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Okay. Why was that not? Did do it. Oh, because it was in his head. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. But. What happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? I wouldn't put it past this game to have something for people that try and save scum. <laughs> well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules! Why? Who are you gonna vote for? Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Uh, yep, he's a... Like, mm -hmm. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Say, if it's not Makoto, then it could have been oh, literally anyone else. Fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. <gasps> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got him. You gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um... Well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Well, that one I think I got figured out. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then, maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got I mean, he's in right. the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Ms. Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against oh, me? I like how everyone else is like, yep, 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 and then it's like... No, not you. You can't say anything. Oh, why exactly? Pointing not to. Pointing not at the person he's yelling at. Because <laughs> she asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way Psycho would let someone in because. I think it's on the uh, switch rooms. Yeah, yeah probably. If you read it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because somebody tried to force their way in. Because Sayaka was obvious. already scared. Remember? I like you should read your. That's why she asked me to switch yeah, rooms in the first place. Same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. You know, I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of the switch, right? Don't talk like her. Knowing yeah. what she'd been through, yep. I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was yep. a lie? Mm, got him. Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? Why did she go to the kitchen and grab the knife? To consider it. But look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? Oh, she's very manipulative. Not her, but it's like, uh... Um... What are you talking about? Just those two. In five minutes, you can see me in my room. 
check into engines to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Psych, they changed them. Interesting. Yeah. I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that <laughs> On the notepad that were like, ah, this is important. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I looked at that one, it's like, more importantly, where is Psych? I'm like, but I wanted to look at that. And I look at it like, that's not important. I'm like, okay. Where is Psych? Then why do you let me look at it? <laughs> oh, man. I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. Is she when the ultimate write, detective? An imprint. What? Sketch over the next sheet of paper? I swear to God. Words. Is that really her title? Why? Why? She's really good at this, right? Paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be Is she literally doing this whole thing to be like, hey, I know you can do it. Prove yourself you're going to be my Watson. Do it. Show me. Oh, and I should you also find out. mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto. It seems room. more that she wants to make sure that everyone can come to their own conclusions and, like, they're going to believe her more if they're the ones who say it themselves. If That's they it, find themselves naturally agreeing with what she's proposing rather yeah. than you must agree with this because I, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. That seems more likely to me, but I don't know. Huh? Which means only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto... Did you write this? Yes! No, I didn't. What? Well, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. Yeah, because that's... Yep. Sayaka's signature, totally. Yep. And uh, that note... Sayaka wrote it? Yep, trying to set you up. But, but why? Why would she Trying to set you up. To set it. The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. You got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation? What young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. <laughs> that voice change ran. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly. Even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Yes, you secretive you vampire. Pay attention. Hey, <laughs> Or me. Eventually I'll get more. I don't know when it starts, though. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they I like the voice actor for her. It specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if someone did yeah. read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. So, how much does time play in this? Then, if part of the mechanic of the game is to let it loop. Um, it becomes more important, especially on the right track. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Like, if you see, like, the spaces on the right, um, so those are, like, for each conversation bubble, or each statement or whatever, um, I could fill up entirely. And then, so if you don't get it the first time, or especially if you have no idea, you might go through it a couple times. So that means you have to be quicker with things later on. Yeah. It, it just confused me what she was saying the way she was saying it the first time. on my and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got switched? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Well, if someone did do what the note said, 
they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. <laughs> Anger. And the Rage. One who the names was. Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? Okay, then who did it? The one person who could have switched the nameplates. Sayaka! <laughs> the only other person who knew we had switched rooms. Me! <laughs> I didn't do it, so it was me! <laughs> so the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. Something I want to talk to you about, just us two in five minutes can see me in my room. Make sure you use the nameplate, check it. Okay, Sayaka. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in, and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone, Why do, would that? anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably... Whoever she invited over came in and attacked her! We figured it out! We know who did it! Whoever she invited over is the culprit! But we still don't yeah. know who it is, you goddamn idiot! Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Possibly. Oh yeah. What's the deal with that Scratches sword? On the walls and the suggested I should hold on to it. Would I be down for a replica sword though? I, defend myself. I mean, it's still metal. You can hurt people with. Yeah, but when you got it, you said it was gashes. Still sharp. Oh, okay. okay. So when he means replica, that means it was probably like just carbon steel or something. Probably shaped metal. Yeah. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Saika's wrist was broken with the fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there's no doubt. Her wrist. Please. Here's is Saika's wrist. Wrist. Just pulls it from his back <laughs> pocket. <laughs> All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Is... is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. People only bleed pink in this world, come on. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit So now we're gonna go to why does no one have gold wrist? on them? Because they got rid of the thing, how'd they get rid of it? By baseball. Yep. I see, I see. And so the truth draws and also blood closer. Well... Alright, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Leon's hair isn't red because he dyed it. It's red because it's blood. <laughs> Wouldn't it be pink though? Hey, got him. Pink's a shade of red, sort of. <sighs> sure. What led to Sayaka's death? That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to oh, hear more? Yeah! We're getting used to these non-stop debates. No. Starting with the next debate, I'll start loading multiple truth oh, bullets into the truth cylinder. Uh. Just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. Oh boy! If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage to your influence gauge. You could press the LB button to rotate the cylinder and choose which oh, bullet to boy. fire. 
Press and release the LB button to cycle through each bullet. Or you can hold down the LB button and then use the left left slash and stick to the, select the specific bullet. That's important. Huh. By the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. Oh. We took medium, yeah? Yeah. yeah. For the purpose this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean. Well then, good luck. Is that and the have medium fun. or is that the hard version? I think it's the hard version. I think that just means there's gonna be a bunch of them. Or not. I think he was just lying to you. <laughs> when the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. The sword based sneak attack. No, I'm my zoner's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. But then the culprit took that from her too. And they killed her with it. And that's exactly what happened. Exactly. If the person with the sword really did attack first. There's no explanation for how a certain oh, part yep. of the sword got damaged. Yep, I was actually just like... I was thinking of this one, but I wasn't sure. Sword base. Objection. Objection! Try to take that long for us to do that. Well, I mean... That's all I've been playing lately. I know. <laughs> Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into Why does that have to happen after they attack? Something sharp. You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. It's just more of an explain towards it. And explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? A lot of times you hold the sheath, sheath in your right hand. Hmm. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked. Wow, who had the kitchen knife? I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Before she knew what was happening. Right? So she grabbed the sword to defend herself, but then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and. That sounds really plausible. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not be? You did. I asked. never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Her hands. Part of her body that shows that she never used the sword. If you wanted to use a sword, which part of your body would have to touch it? Her stomach. Her stomach. <laughs> yeah, you put it in your stomach, you swing it around. Yep. Yep, that's how it works. You're not here for the whole gold conversation? Like... Her. Can she die now? Do you think she's gonna die? Yes. Okay, okay. That or murder. 
Yeah, I mean, she still dies then because I. Think. She's afraid of water. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, she dies even if she kills someone because we'll point it out. Yep. It's around 138 am. Not surprising. <laughs> He'll, he will be killed, though, by a murderer, <laughs> and she will maybe be the one to do it. I'm okay with that. Two words with one stone. Yep. And insult. So anyway, No. No, you confused me and I wasn't <laughs> thinking of Bailey. Dang it. And then how the scratch have gone? I, I like how he doubts you even though he just said the wrong thing. Bailey, you confused me for just long enough. <laughs> Dang it. You gotta see every possibility. You know? I knew the right answer too. I just. Oh man. Interesting, the health regenerates if you say good things though. Your influence is yeah. better when you say good things. It's almost like people trust you more when you're correct in these sort of cases. Yeah. She was setting you up, dude! Then she just what? sucked. <laughs> and then she failed. Kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attack without provocation. Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nakuto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Nakoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Nakoto's room. Saika would never do that, wouldn't she? But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. What if they just remembered the order of the rooms? Yeah, I mean, it's possible. You know, in real life. Yeah. But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? You're murdering someone, yeah. Even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell it. And she would deny it. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat <laughs> behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Because he would take the fall. I do like him. <laughs> Great. Alright, now Mondo. Kill, killer, survives. Oh no. He needs to survive. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to survive. And she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because- I don't want to be, no. But she loved me! Hey, hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now! Come on, hurry up and 
decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think. Oh boy. The smartest of them all. Did you do a save point? <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty close to the end. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayatha, it's over for all of us. All over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her. But what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. Except for, like, half the clues we didn't use. Except for all the trash clues. Dying message. What? No way. Look how absolute boned he looks. Takes a little longer to shoot that. I don't know why she screamed die. He's trying to be Reaper. Die. That's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayak is dying. There's literally more than one clue left. Dining. Wait, what, what did you say? Dining. Dining. The dying message. She wrote you know, you cleverly try to cover it up by saying dining. <laughs> Well, her, her thing was, if I'm gonna die because I fucked up trying to murder someone, I'm gonna make sure they get caught too. Yep. Yeah. Before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yeah. Got it. I mean, this is not even true. I mean, someone could have. Yeah, it's true. Written it that way. Yeah. She used that finger to write the message. Yeah, I can also counter that with the killer's hands should be covered in gold, so you would have seen it. Yeah. So, never mind, I just disproved myself. Mm <laughs> hmm. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? Hey, Chihiro, you're a we tried this! Or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. No, that's not. <laughs> I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these Just because there's numbers doesn't mean it's important. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... I'll look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was 1-1, one, one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> I really getting excited now. I don't like you. No. Damn it! There's no use! I just don't know! <sighs> Rotate the image 180 degrees. Rotate it? I think maybe. maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it! So. Sayaka's dying message reveals the real killer's name. In 037. If you turn her message 180 degrees... Please, please actually turn it. Damn it. It should become crystal clear. We don't have that kind of technology. It can't hold your hand for all of that. Come on. Who do you think did it? I went the wrong way. <laughs> So